Good afternoon, good morning. This is Mark Johnson from Loyalty360. I hope everyone's, everyone's happy, safe, and well. I want to welcome you back to another edition of our Leaders in Customer Loyalty series. In this series, we talk to the brand leaders about what they are seeing and hearing on the front lines of customer channel and brand loyalty. Today, we have the pleasure of speaking with Lisa Hallam, who's the Senior Director for Loyalty, Commercial, and Marketing at Papa John's. Uh, they are the world's third largest pizza delivery company with over 5,500 locations in 49 countries and territories. Lisa, how are you today? I'm great, Mark. How, thank you for having me today. Absolutely. Thanks for taking the time. Um, for those who may not be familiar, I would love to get a, a brief history of, of Papa John's and uh, everything that Papa John's does. Sure. Well, Papa John's International, we opened our doors in 1984 with one goal in mind. That's better ingredients, better pizza. And Papa John's believes that using the high quality ingredients will lead to superior quality in our pizzas. You know, we were the first national pizza delivery chain to announce the removal of artificial flavors and synthetic colors from our entire food menu. Our original dough, it's made of only six ingredients and it's fresh, never frozen. Papa John's tops its pizza with real cheese made from mozzarella, pizza sauce made with vine ripened tomatoes that go from the vine to the can that very same day. And our meat is free of fillers. We're the third largest pizza company delivering the world, like you said, um, and just excited to, for our continued growth. Great. Uh, also, we'd love to know a little bit more personally about the people we're interviewing with. Uh, so we'd love to know a little bit more about you, kind of your role within the organization, and uh, maybe a fun fact, a passion you may have, scuba diving, jumping out of planes, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> gaming, whatever it may be. So at a high level, I think we're all responsible for ensuring our customers have a great experience with our brand. And I do this by having accountability for the oversight of a team that defines our customer strategy. That includes CRM, our customer analytics and insights, our MarTech strategy, and of course, the evolution of Papa Rewards loyalty program. Uh, maybe a little fun fact about me. Uh, I'm an avid tennis player. I, I love the competition. I love the exercise. And, uh, and I think it's a sport that you can play year round, especially in Georgia. Okay, great. Well, that's awesome. Well, when you look at uh, yeah, the, the loyalty program, I know you just uh, renewed a promotion, uh, now kind of limited return of the Shack Aroni pizza. Uh, I think it was developed in a partnership with uh, the board member and the franchisee Shaquille O'Neal. Can you tell us a little bit more about that promotion? Yeah, absolutely. And let me tell you, if you haven't tried the Shack Aroni yet, that should be your dinner of choice tonight. It's one of my favorite pizzas because it's our extra large pizza with extra pepperoni, extra cheese. So when I had my friends over this past weekend, everybody was able to enjoy it. And those toppings are spread to the edge and we cut that crust into eight shack size slices. It's the largest uh, slice ever. And what makes it even more special is that $1 from every purchase benefits the Papa John's Foundation, which supports organizations like the Boys and Girls Club of America. It's truly a pizza with a purpose. That's awesome. When you look at the Papa John's Foundation, uh, obviously there's a there's a great deal of interest in charity, uh, consumer, uh, corporate social good uh, entities. When you look at the the Shakaroni uh, process, you know how does that help? And can you tell us uh, about some of your your foundation efforts and, and 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 you know what that does for your brand? Yeah, absolutely. It's important for us to ensure consumers know how we are making an impact in the communities that we live in, specifically as it relates to youth leadership entrepreneurship, food security, and food waste reduction. And Shakaroni is one of our largest programs that engage consumers firsthand in those efforts. And like I said, every time a customer purchases a Shakaroni, a dollar goes to the Papa John's Foundation. Okay, great. When you look at uh, customer loyalty, we always uh, like to get a kind of definition of what customer loyalty means to you and to your organization. You know, what does customer loyalty mean to Papa John's and, and to you as well? Yeah, so first, let me start by saying that just because you belong to a loyalty program doesn't mean you're necessarily loyal to that brand. To me, a loyalty program goes beyond just the transaction. It builds a relationship and an emotional connection to the brand. And every Papa John's customer plays an integral role in helping the company deliver on its better ingredients, better pizza promise. But it's our loyal customers, those true pizza lovers, who keep our ovens baking and the business moving forward. Okay, great. The Papa Rewards Program, uh, any new enhancements they've made to the program recently? 
Oh, absolutely. I'm glad you asked. You know, I have to say Papa John's was the first to market with a loyalty program in the pizza QSR space. So since our launch in 2010, we've made several enhancements to the program, including improving the value proposition. Our members now earn one point per dollar spent, which then converts to Papa Dough. And once you have 75 points, you have $10 worth of dough, and that can be used to redeem for any of our menu items. Now, early access also gives our members the opportunity to experience our company's newest menu innovations a week before other customers. It's been a really strong program for the band better rewards. And, you know, we always strive to build that connection with our pizza lovers and keep our consumers first. And we're pleased that the Papa Rewards program is one of our strongest channels to help us do that. Our laser focus uh, on customer experience really allows us to identify those opportunities to engage our customers at a high frequency. And that's critical to our short-term sales growth and lifetime value of our customers. Absolutely. And when you look at uh, customer loyalty, uh, it definitely it's evolving very quickly. Uh, people are moving away from transactional rewards to uh, you know, reward people for engagement or social media shares and or even giving them zero party data. You know, how has your program evolved beyond just a sole focus on transactions? Yeah, I, Papa Rewards not only helps generate repeat purchases, but it also helps create more engagement with our customers at a high frequency by creating those personalized offers and delivering this content to them at the right time through the right channel. And in addition to offering exclusive benefits that you get just because you're a member, like early access, we're also test, testing special offers like surprise and delights for our most loyal members or birthday offers. Personalization continues to be a focus, and we're exploring creating new member experiences, uh, experiential rewards, and providing more choices to our members on how they can redeem their points. Okay. Uh, technology is more important now than ever before. Uh, making sure the technology stack works, uh, getting to uh, personalization or, you know, at scale, a big challenge for, you know, the brands that we speak with, members, non-members, you know, how are you looking at technology and, and how are you using technology to, you know, enhance your customer loyalty and personalization efforts? Yeah, you know, great technology and product leaders are those who can really peel back the onion to understand the nuances that impacts the decisions that on their company and even on the industry. And our customer experience team is constantly monitoring the industry and bringing their prior experience in to inform the decisions that we make. We wanna know our members so that we can best serve them and technology and, and analytics enable that. So at Papa John's, we strive to think longer than just day one. It's really exciting to be part of an organization that embraces an iterative improvement philosophy. Absolutely. Do you have any challenges with regard to technology, getting the right technology, integration, you know, or do you see other brands struggling with uh, technology in any way? You know, technology changes every day. And I think it's just really important that you stay on top of what's going on in the industry. And really, more importantly, what are our customer expectations and what are their needs so that we can really marry together that technology to meet those needs? Absolutely. When you look at uh, partnerships, uh, how does uh, Papa John's look at partnerships? Is it something you traditionally you know, kind of approached? Uh, and, and so, you know, how do you see it going forward, uh, you know, with the, you know, the foundation or, you know, how do you see partnerships, you know, evolving going forward? Yeah, our partnership strategy continues to evolve based on the needs and wants of our consumers. Our commitment is to meet them where they are. And that's at the forefront of everything that we do. So that's going to help us really determine what partnerships will make the best sense for our brand moving forward. Okay. When you look at customers, uh, there's a great deal of discussion around customers changing. How do you feel uh, customers are changing within the industry or even Papa John customers specifically? Yeah, I think emerging from this pandemic, uh, there's a new norm out there, right? I mean, customers have a lot higher expectation of what they're what they're expecting from all of their brands. And so Papa John's is really striving to meet that. I think one great example of that is how we were able to pivot and um, create a, like a curbside delivery uh, drive up pickup so that uh, our customers can have this contactless delivery experience and feel really comfortable and safe when engaging with our brand. Okay, great. When you look at uh, the next big thing for your brand's approach to customer loyalty, what is that? 
you know, we're focused on really driving a strong digital experience. Digital is the way customers want to engage with us, and we want to make sure that they have that frictionless experience. So we want to make sure that we are across whatever channel that we want, that they want to play in, we want to meet them in. Uh, I think gamification is really an exciting uh, new place where we could, we could play in. We talked a little bit about uh, strategic uh, partnerships that allow us to join with equally strong and relevant brands to better serve our members. And then maybe some additional program enhancements um, that give more rewards to our members, uh, more personalized experiences and communications uh, throughout their entire customer journey. A lot of those are in the works, so you'll have to stay tuned. Great. When you look at uh, KPIs, what KPIs do you and your team look at uh, to measure the success of your customer loyalty and customer experience efforts? Well, I'm very excited to say that this year our rewards program has contributed to almost half of our brand sales. This program is a really important component to the increased repeat sales and customer loyalty for the Papa John's business. It enables our brand to engage with customers at a high frequency providing targeted offers that can drive more transactions, increase overall purchase totals. You know, and we've seen rapid continuation of membership growth that began early last year with more than 100,000 customers joining the program each week. And just recently, we welcomed our 20 millionth member to the program, and I look forward to welcoming more. Okay, great. When you look at the competitor set, uh, the number of uh great brands out there doing some unique things in the industry. How do you think you're different from your competitors and are you seeing similar kind of approaches or do you, you feel what you're doing is unique and uh, kind of uh, differentiated? Yeah, Papa John strives to deliver on the core of our brand promise. It's better ingredients, better pizza, better rewards, which positions us to be a premium player in the quick service pizza space. And for us, it's all about innovation really challenging ourselves to be the best Papa John's we can be, not trying to be who we're not and compete against the strength um, of, our, of our competition, but to compete on our own strength. This is what we believe is gonna build a strong connection with our pizza lovers and keep consumers coming back time after time again. Okay. And you know, when you look at your customer loyalty journey, what can Loyalty 360 do to help you in your journey? Oh, I love that you asked me that. I think you guys are a tremendous partner. Um, you are definitely the leader in this space. You're the first to report on trends and innovations, and we can learn from you, and we can use that knowledge to help us understand the customer better and make improvements. So I'd say, you know, you're just a great resource for us to stay, help us stay sharp on top of what's happening within the loyalty and customer reward space, and uh, we just look forward to continue to working with you. Well, that's great. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today. It was very interesting to learn a little bit more about some of the enhancements you made to the Papa Rewards program, the Chacaroni, try that out for sure. And uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to hearing more from Papa John's uh, over the next year. Great. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate your time. Absolutely. 